You're watching an TV with the SanDisk Memory Vault um, unboxing and a short test. We have an 8GB version right here and SanDisk is promising you 100 years of estimated storage life which is amazing if you want to store some pictures or maybe even important videos. I know 8GB is not too much, you can even buy a 16GB memory vault but that's actually it. So as you can see here there's a timeline from the 60s to 2000. 32 um, the pictures should all still be available most important moments of your life if you want to keep them even if your house burns down Okay, we can't test it because we have to send it back um, to, uh, off to fire, but um, It should last um, a long time I'm not sure if the micro USB port and 8 gigabytes will be st will still be a lot in a hundred years but will well Sandex is trying to enter a niche market here so let's give them a try so we have the device itself and some um, extras here so first of all we have a memory vault quick start guide what you should what you can do with your device as you can see here operational temperature is from 0 to 45 degrees Celsius and storage is you can even keep it in your um, cellar when it's cold so up to minus 10 degrees Celsius and well there's an LED and some short instructions in a lot of languages then we have a pouch here which is I think for your micro USB cable which is actually pretty long and the device itself let's see if this fits in here yes so yeah you can store it um, nicely and then we have two um, sticker extras here which are for remembering um, what you have on your storage device because if you get it uh, find it after 20 years somewhere you will want to know what's inside and if you don't have a computer which has USB or mic USB or anything like that right now then you can just uh, read it from these papers if you still can read your own handwriting of course and then we have the storage thingy itself we already took it apart before so let's just slide it out right here and then we will demonstrate to you of course how fast you can copy things on here even though this device is not for copying um, information on an everyday basis but our first impression is it's really solid it's built from um, metal and there's an LED right here on the bottom you have some rudder foot so it doesn't you can't like push it around on the table it's stable and what I don't like is that the connector is behind the um, rubber thingy so if your house burns down this will probably melt and go in here and then well I think that won't work but we will see it says memory vault on here and where is that USB cable because we wanna connect it to this computer and copy something on here so let's see there is the connector which is micro USB as I said and let's connect this cable to the computer as I said we have a flash built in here so as you can see it's blinking red right now installation doesn't take too long on a Windows 7 computer and let's see what we can copy um, okay we already had a movie on here before and let's copy 300 megabytes with Toll Commander with F5 and as you can see it says um, 14,000 K and goes down to actually 9000, 8000 and then uh, 8000 still um, kilobytes per second so it takes about 30 seconds to copy 300 megabytes, 270, 80 megabytes so that's actually a um, nice speed for writing reading should be double that, we will check it out in just a second when we copy the file back to another folder and then, well this is actually it from our short hands-on and then usage of the SanDisk Memory Vault. My name is Balash Gal. This is Endeavor TV, and let's copy something back and see how the read speed is, which is wow, amazingly fast as you saw right there. Um, of course, we have an SSD built in in this computer, so the writing is really quick. But uh, 300 megabytes were about over in three seconds. So thank you very much for watching Endeavor TV. My name is Balash Gal, and this was a Sony uh, SanDisk Memory Vault. Um, unboxing and test.